channel welcome my name is Kyle for the win and welcome to another nine guide in this video I am going to be showing you guys how to create or make the o death of Orion wonder weapon here on the map nine now this is a kind of a complicated little step I'm gonna try and make it as clear as possible for you guys so uh, right when you spawn in the first thing you want to do is you want to go and knife the challenge flag of your choosing whatever it want whatever temple you want it to be you just go over to it and knife it and then you will begin three challenges now the challenges are really random they can be get five consecutive consecutive headshot kills they can be get 13 knife kills they can be a wide variety of things but that is the first step to complete all three challenges i think in my game i had 13 knife kills then i had 13 kills with my special weapon, and then a different challenge that I actually forget at the moment. But uh, once you complete those challenges, you can move over into the next step, and that is to uh, start getting pack a punch done. If you guys don't know how to do pack a punch, I already have a guide up on my channel. How to do pack a punch on the map nine? It's very very simple. You just go ahead and get that going, and then that will make everything a lot easier. Now the next step is once you have pack a punch done you can of course pack a punch a weapon like i'm doing now but then you go ahead and head over to the area outside of the temple which is the crypt and then i actually go up these stairs really quick uh because there is a zombie following me it's actually the entrance to uh the uh, orion and a different type of temple but once you go into the pack a punch area, you turn exactly behind you, and then you shoot this cauldron. Now, once you shoot the cauldron, you can go up, and then you can see an arrow pointing to each uh, location where there will be a stone head. And I'm going to show you guys all the locations that are available. So the first location is in the Egyptian temple, temple and it is right there where I'm shooting right now. Then the next head location is going to be in the Zeus temple I believe wherever my editing will take me next or I think I actually go to the Danu temple after this so I go up these stairs through over the bridge into the Danu temple and the second head will spawn when I go down these stairs here the second head will spawn go down the stairs and the second head will spawn right here on this puddle right where I'm shooting now now I had an idea about another place but it definitely wasn't there the next place is in the Zeus temple where you go downstairs into this area where the kind of the blood bath is and you shoot right there where I'm shooting right now that is the final location and actually in my game the location for the uh, the skull or the head was in the Orion temple so I'm going up the stairs across the bridge into the Orion temple and I go down the stairs of course all the way down to where the cauldron is and when I get down there to where the cauldron is I take a left turn I shoot at the wrong spot here it is actually on the other side right here where the stone head is now so once you get that head done you will go down into the crypt again to get the acid trap parts so the first part is the chains and that is right here well actually it is the uh, kind of the clock the clock chain thing and that is always in that location so just grab that then the other part is the chain and that is also in the same spot and never ever moves location so you guys don't have to worry about that and then you we go down these stairs or whatever I'm trying to do here uh, we get on stairs and then I it's right there to your left it's right there by that wall I'm aiming at it uh, right now so it's right there pick up that chain and then the last part is actually the cauldron. Now the cauldron is what you get from for completing the three challenges. As you can see, it's, just, it's stuck on that pedestal. And then what we do next is we go over to this area, turn on or build the acid trap, and then that head we got, we will run over this way. Kind of weird editing, I know. Uh, I had two different gameplays, but we run over here to this area, put the statue head on this little grate here, and then we activate the acid trap. So we have to we let the acid trap go for a little bit of time. We just let it do its thing, and then once it once it is done, it will it takes a little bit of time. Take pours acid on it, but once that is done, it will spawn a statue of a scorpion. 
So we pick this up, and then the, this is the important and the, probably the longest part of this whole thing. This is two rounds of full infinity. Now what this means is that your character, you have to play two rounds with the crowd at full infinity, which means you have the green thumbs up with glowing, with glowing green uh, stuff coming up from the hand. If you don't have the glowing or the uh, kind of the glowing hand, you are not at full infinity. So uh, some ways to get high infinity, of course, is to kill zombies at a constant rate and that and then not step in the fire. That is a big one. If you step in the fire, you will be punished and it will go down. So you have to have two consistent rounds. But once you complete this step, it takes a little bit, but once you get it, you will hear this quote. An empty jar. And then a golden vase spawns. Now what you do now is you go back to the bottom of the Danu Temple, and you can see a tree with a hole in it. Now I had a bit of a difficulty with this uh, area, but what I found that worked is that if you knife the hole, you will spawn the scorpion, and then you just press square X or F to summon the little uh, the golden vase so once that's done you have to play about a round or two uh once but check check it every now and then because once it's full you can go over it to it and take a look as you can see it's full now and you can pick it up and your character will have a little bit of an animation and then what you do is you press square x or f on that head and then the next mystery box hit you get will spawn the wonder weapon the orion I forget the name already, but anyways, this is an amazing wonder weapon. I mean, it's really late when I'm recording this, so I forget the names, but this is an amazing wonder weapon. You can charge it, or you can just shoot straight shots, but you can also upgrade it. So that was a little bit of a look of it unupgraded. So then you go back down into the Pack-a-Punch, and the only upgrade step is to just put it in the Pack-a-Punch machine for 5,000 points, and there you go. You have the upgraded wrath of orion or i forget what the name is i apologize guys but what i'm going to show you guys some gameplay of the fully upgraded wonder weapon here and it is absolutely amazing it absolutely destroys everything this is a completely charged shot as you can see it just demolishes absolutely everything in its path very very deadly and it's an absolutely awesome weapon once you shoot one enemy zombie you can train all the zombies to be affected by the um by the electric charge and it is a seriously seriously awesome wonder weapon and i'm sure it has a lot of stuff to do with the easter egg but besides that it is just a very very good wonder weapon in general so i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, it took a lot of editing and a lot of work to get this uh, guide done for you guys hopefully it made sense hopefully it flowed pretty nicely i tried my absolute best but if you guys have any questions, you can leave that down below in the comment section. But it's pretty straightforward. Um, but especially because the pack a punch is the hardest part. But I already did a pack a punch guide already, so it shouldn't be a problem. So leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. Make sure you check out all of my other guides for IX and all my other Black Ops 4 videos. And I will see you on some more Call of Duty Black Ops 4 videos later on today.